Hey, what is happening, guys? This is the Light Nature coming at you with another video. So today, I got to do a, a trailer analysis video for you guys. Now, of course, there's a lot of theories I actually got from this trailer, so I will most likely make new videos about that in the coming future. So, without further ado, let's just uh, dive straight into it. So we first start off with the scene within the key blade graveyard. This is where most of the organization members actually met to uh, do the plan, but there is no one here, and it goes through this like different type of phase with black and white, and then we see the mysterious figure being approached by young Xehanort in another cloaked figure. So considering this happens during in the Keyblade Graveyard, it could take place any part, any time in during the game. So this may be in the beginning because Xehanort is planning everything out, young Xehanort. Next, we see the banter between the two. So the first, the mysterious figure says, So, how you doing? Basically. So he's saying, So, and apparently the cold wards of darkness. This is actually what was said uh, for Riku, I believe. But another thing a lot of people notice is that young Xehanort has silver eyes, lads. Silver eyes. He looks good. Then he says, it's useful, so he's trying to ward off darkness somehow, so... Silver eyes, lad! Silver eyes! So, <laughs> what is the usefulness? We don't know, but... Told ya! So maybe this mysterious figure actually gave him the cloak, because he's also wearing it. Uh, so how'd it go? There it is! <laughs> so I think he's talking about um, his world visits, because at, after this he says... The world true. Now this could just be, you know, a little bit of a nod because it was released at a world tour, like at a tour, so that's a pretty cool thing. So after that, young Xehanort goes, he takes a seat next to the mysterious figure, we don't know why, but I think it's because he trusts him and he finds comfort, and he gave him a cloak, so you know, who knows, um, but um, this mysterious figure is a bit tall compared to young Xehanort, so who knows, um, he said in an awful way, so I feel that he's actually kind of sad that he has to go use darkness. In, He's kind of sad that I just realized how necessary he is. I think he didn't want to be a part of this, but he says it with a smirk. So this man, and it fades to dark, so he gets into darkness. Right, straight after that, we get some Riku gameplay. Um, it looks like it's going to be very limited, because we still just have attack, magic, and items. Um, it looks like the same type of moves, which I wasn't that big um, of a fan of. But hey, who knows? Um, so you fight in uh, Zigba as well as the Riku replica, the Rekuplica, alongside Sora. And it's only the two of you, which is interesting. And hey, I cannot wait to actually see how this scenario actually plays out further. Then we get the Aqua and Ventus versus Vanitas and Terra Nort. Yes, so this is before, you know, you actually saved Terra. So, yes, we get to play as Aqua again. It's not a character we never play as in Kingdom Hearts 3 before, because we kind of did. So it's really cool that we actually get Spellweaver and Blizzar... Blizzarza, whatever it's called. I'm happy about that. Her style seems, you know, the same. I hope Vanitas, you can do a little bit of links, but of course, um, you don't have that option, so it's likely we will not. Alright, so then we get Roxas, the best addition so far. So basically he's using uh, the same type of moves he used in his fight that you actually fought him with in Kingdom Hearts 2. Uh, even this move over here, but it's less more flashy. So this looks like an amazing move. I don't know how we're going to actually trigger it. But of course we're versing the Saiyaks and all them alongside Shion and Axel. Amazing stuff. 
so of course we fight Syax, you know, with the Berserk Meek over there. And even this move over here is the Twin Blade Wacha move, you know, when he just uh, takes the boat, they hit the ground, and then he just lashes you. Like there's no tomorrow, here it comes. Right here, he does a backflip, and then, well, you're dazed. He kills your life, cause look at that damage, god damn, Roxas. So this one over here had to slow down, so you can see that we did get Oathkeeper. So we are getting Oathkeeper, that's the Keyblade we are getting. Um, I'm really happy that we're getting Oathkeeper. So yes, this is the Keyblade that we are getting. We are getting Oathkeeper, and this is the Keyblade transformation. Um, it looks good actually, it really does, I feel like this is going to be one hell of a style to play with, so I get some uh, fighting styles over here, we get the stars of the Oathkeeper actually flying around and then we have that whirlwind attack which is pretty cool, and then he keeps on attacking and attacking like there's no tomorrow, look at that, he does a backflip with the key blade and then he's hidden and there was a light that actually came down which shows like some light fighting alongside you there's that whirlwind again uh, this combo is pretty dang i'm not gonna lie uh, this looks like it's gonna be fun but at the same time looks gonna be overpowered like that drill thing over there uh, but yeah i really can't wait for this So next we get my boy Luxord. So he says, Zigba, who are you? Now this could possibly take place straight after the events of Olympus when uh, Zigba said, May your heart, then it goes to fades in black. Then all of this happens. So he throws his card to uh, Zigba. Because this is all taking place in Olympus as we can see within the art style, within the area. And even like when it fades to black and white, it looks like Luxord is good and Zigba is bad. Who knows? But he says, all right. Um, it doesn't make a difference to me anyway. So Luxord kind of knows what's going to happen in the future. Now the question is, how? How does this man know? I have a couple theories. We'll make videos about that. Uh, it'll just I'll just keep playing dumb. So this makes me think... Is Luxord much more of a character that we thought we would be? Ego, is he mom? <laughs> is he mom? I don't know, lads. I don't know. I question everything. So he said, the question is, who are you, Luxord? So this made me think about the whole mom theory. Um, but of course, I'll back that more up in another video so yes guys that was basically you know the trailer then of course we get this slick looking logo of kingdom hearts 3 like when it faded from blue to the original colors oh that was just beautiful and we get the recoded uh with a little bit of an aim type of uh logo then we have kingdom hearts 3 dlc so that aim logo could mean a lot of stuff it actually kind of gives off a certain type of vibe from the world ends with you don't know why then coming this winter it's coming this winter lad so december you know what you're doing well for me it's not actually this um for december for me is basically uh summer but that's perfectly fine but dude this was amazing um the trailer was short but man does it hold a lot of stuff that we can analyze yes now let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think please leave a like helps me out a lot comment down in the comment section down below your theories please share with friends because sharing is caring and most importantly subscribe to become a fellow lightning bolt anyway guys uh, that is it for this video and as always this is lightning Blaze out.